Hey, stop sitting there and enjoying the scenery. Get up off your lazy ventricles and move it! You're out of shape. You should exercise more often. What do you think you're doing? You know that stuff isn't good for you. Listen, my point is, is that exercise and no smoking makes for a healthy heart. Students from Inner Borough's telecommunications class won the Heart TV contest, sponsored by the American Heart Association and those of us here at Channel 3. Now, to win, the students made a video starring a puppet in the shape of a human heart, and they gave that heart a helping hand. What do you think you're doing? You know that stuff isn't good for you. Listen, my point is, is that exercise and no smoking makes for a healthy heart. <laughs> I'm Tracy Blake with Carl Craigle. This is Alex Mullins' communications class. Here the students learn about TV, producing, directing, operating cameras, and being on the air. The outlook for today is rain and 61. The Interboro kids got the idea for their award-winning video here in class, where they say there's a creative environment. They created the look of the video by tying a puppet with invisible string, but they hope the video's message becomes highly visible. I don't smoke myself, and none of my friends do. And I have relatives that I wanted to watch that video especially because they do smoke. And although smoking is declining among the general population, it's really not declining much more among teenagers, particularly in high school. And in fact, among uh, teenage girls in high school, it's increasing. So it's important to get this message out because it has a bearing on your later life. And a bearing on their lives today. None of these kids smoke, and they say that feels good. So does winning the Heart TV contest. You get a lot of recognition. Most people get, only get recognition in sports. And just to do something for the Heart Association and get recognition for that was nice. Good bunch of kids. Some of you may recognize Mr. Mullen from his years teaching at Prospect Park School. However, you might not know he was the original faculty advisor to the television studio, and he is still with us today as a special advisor and the voice of Kaleidoscope. You hear him every morning in the openings.